have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Have you ever wondered what games you should sell or you should use? Find out here at Purdue's. Find out on our top 10 list what games you cannot miss. Don't forget to subscribe to Purdue's. I feel like I should admit that I've never actually played the Portal video game. This is a game system that I've never played. So when I sat down to play the board game, I was playing it more as a board game than a video game. With that said, whenever you slap a license or a theme on it, I feel like you might like the game more if you're a fan of the game. Now, if a game is solid, like Battlestar Galactica, I think anybody can play that game and enjoy it. But if you're a fan of the game or a fan of the TV show, you're going to like it that much more. Let me clarify. Portal, I feel like you're probably going to like this game a lot more if you're a fan of the game or a fan of skirmishes. You're really going to need to like that. There's a lot of fighting and pulling cards over and getting to destroy people. The more players you have, the less control you're going to have in this game. The board is going to change a lot between your turn in a four-player game. In a two-player game, it probably gets a little bit more strategic. Now, I'm going to go ahead and recommend this game for people who like conflict in games. If you like that kind of conflict and you don't mind a little bit of luck and kind of getting screwed over by card play, then this is going to play right into you, though. If you're a serious Euro gamer, I don't feel like this game is going to be what you're looking for at all. The parts move around a lot in this game. It's a very fiddly game. There is a lot of changing the board and putting it back, and the pieces don't fit that well together. With that said, some of the components are really neat. The cake is really cool. I like the turret and the companion cube. I don't really understand the companion cube or how this works in the video game, but it's a neat little component and they're fully painted. Excellent. Overall though, this game isn't going to fit into my gaming needs. Instead, it's going to be a little bit too more combative. It's going to be a little bit too fiddly and I don't have any kind of attachment to the license or IP that's attached to it. So for me, it's going to be a purge, but this could totally be a game that a lot of people get into if they like that combative nature and that fiddliness doesn't bother them. So I'm going to lukewarm recommend this for those that like that. And the more you like combativeness, the more you like play interaction, the more you don't mind fiddliness, the more I think you're going to enjoy this game. Now look, I'm not comparing this game to Munchigan, but if you like Munchigan, try this one out if you want a little bit of warfare in it. Very neat little game, but not for me. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel. lets us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching, and everybody else, keep playing games.